Welcome back, everyone, to the New York Giants franchise here at Madden NFL 22. We've got the preseason action against the Cincinnati Bengals. P.J. Walker getting the start here today. We also will see some action from Clark Russell, our third-string quarterback that we drafted from Florida. That's a CPU-generated player. He is not a custom prospect, so just to keep in mind, you will see some custom prospect action in this preseason matchup. we got a guy by the name of Sarek Martin, a running back. Paul Andrews, a wide receiver. And nobody else, custom-wise. Maybe Romeo Reyes will get some action here as a defensive end. Might see him get involved in some plays here. But we do have one custom prospect, at least one here, that's going to get into this action for Cincinnati. That'd be the name of Trent Torres, a backup quarterback to Joe Burrow. So as Joe Burrow takes the field, he checks this thing down for a good six-yard gain there. Here's running back Joe Mixon getting a nice carry up the middle. A little to the left side, but he does pick up the first down here at the 47-yard line. Joe Burrow, no pressure at all, makes the pass completed to Jamar Chase, one of his favorite targets. Second down and one, Mixon gets the call, gets the first down. Good tackle there by Danny Shelton, but either way, it is first down at Cincinnati, and our defense is kind of letting up some big plays here. Here's a bomb to the right, and take a look at this play by James Bradbury. What a pick in the back of the end zone out there looking for Joe Mixon. Pretty interesting play call for your running back to get all the way out in a fly route. <laughs> to get out in the back of the end zone, crazy going up against a corner. It's an interesting play call there, but either way, man, it is an interception, and here we go. We got P.J. Walker taking the field with Sarek Martin as the starting running back here in preseason action. Game number one, P.J. Walker, a little bit of pressure here on second down and four, trying to get out there, trying to find Kadarius Tony. He does not complete the pass. Walker... Pass going to be completed to Paul Andrews. Nice little route run there by Andrews making the big time catch. So his first professional catch of his career. And there's your draft class for last season. And I, I like what we did in this draft class. I think we nailed the draft. I really do. I think free agency was just a little bit lackluster because we do have some bad, bad contracts on this team. But you, you got to make do. You got to make do. Here's a nice catch by Paul Andrews again. But he did come back. He came back to get the football here. And down on fourth and one, we're in our own territory at the 45. But you know what? In my opinion, let's just go for this thing. We get the first down. Sarek Martin picks it up. Third down and two. It's preseason. Like, why not? Just be aggressive here. We need as many offensive reps as we can get. And look at this move by Sarek Martin. That's his elusiveness ability. His juke rating is very, very good for a rookie. And I think he's got the makings of some Saquon Barkley. He's very Saquon-esque. And I, I really like Sa Sarek Martin here going in to be our future at running back. First down and goal after a nice pass completed to Kadarius. Tony can't get the throw off. P.J. Walker is going to get sacked here. It's going to lead to a second and goal situation here at the 13-yard line. So we do move backward after the sack. Here's P.J. Got some pressure in his face, but he does get the ball off to Paula Andrews who makes the catch. Cornerback must not have known where the football was. Trying to locate it. Trying to come back and follow the receiver. Probably had his eyes on Andrews the whole time and not the football. Interesting because he caught it, but at the three-yard line, we can't punch it in. We kick a field goal up and good, and we take the lead here three to Zippo. So Joe Burrow, his second series of the game in the first quarter. We got defensive laps out there in the defensive backfield out there. The coverage was just not good, man, not good. 19-yard line, Joe Burrow, pass going to be completed to Joe Mixon. They were trying to get, they were trying to get him the ball. Receiving-wise, they are trying to get him the ball the last time that we saw them try to hook up, and that was a that was a big interception for us. But here is Sarek Martin getting involved in the receiving game yet again. Takes the wheel route, gets all the way down to the 32. Sarek Martin's got some speed, man. He's got some sneaky speed. Again, I love this guy. He is balling out today in his Giants debut. First down and 10, and take a look what we got here now. We're inside the second quarter. Second quarter has started. We got a quarterback change. We got the backup. We got Clark Russell in here. Gary Brightwell trying to find some running room there. Just try to get to second and manageable. But it's third down and 23, guys. So let's see what Clark Russell's going to fire up here. Is he going to try to bomb this one deep? He does. Looking for Kenny Galladay, who checks in for at least a play. He can't make the catch because the throw is a little offline. Just a little bit. Clark Russell, got to work on that deep ball. He's more of that short passing game, West Coasty, field general type of guy. So got that scrambler archetype. Right? So that's what we gotta work on him. We gotta work on that with him. But here we are, guys. First down. Sarek Martin picks it up yet again. Second and six. Here comes Clark Russell. He's gonna find his way all the way from the 19 to the 34. Big pickup there. 
using the speed that he that he showed off in college man he's got that he's got that scrambler archetype he should be a pretty solid little runner here for us but here's a deep bomb looking for Mitchell that's Dylan Mitchell can't make the catch another deep bomb another deep ball that Clark Russell just can't hit second down and 10 this pass is gonna be intercepted and that's just a rookie mistake you had the underneath route we had the underneath route with the Z with the zig route got to take that instead of trying to push the ball downfield especially knowing your quarterback's strengths and weaknesses speaking of those strengths and weaknesses Trent Torres checks into the game he is a custom player and he's gonna miss his wide receiver wide open by the way to lead to a fourth down and one and here's Beal putting pressure on the kick and it's gonna be off the upright off the post and they're gonna miss so good pressure good special teams play by these New York Giants you love to see that so we get the football here with a minute 13 left to go. Nobody in the backfield to help out Trent Torres. And he checks it down here to Devontae Booker on second and 10, picking up a good gain there, gain of eight. Third down and two. And this pass, again, maybe you probably should have thrown that a little bit earlier. But you know what? Screw it. Again, it's fourth down and two. It is preseason football. Let's get as many offensive reps as we can possibly get for our backups. Come on, man. Come on. We need as many downs as we can. First and 10 with 41 seconds to go. Paul Andrews, yeah. rookie, rookie, man. That's a rookie mistake. You gotta, you gotta make the catch, dude. You gotta catch that. That's a touchdown for you. Take a look at this throw. Devontae Booker with the catch. What a throw on the run by Clark Russell. That's one heck of a throw. Seven seconds, we're going to the end zone as Russell gets to the pylon and dives in. Touchdown, Giants. Touchdown for the rookie. Utilizes his speed, takes it to the outside. This is exactly, again, guys, why I felt like drafting this guy would make a lot of sense. Daniel Jones has got speed. I like to run out of the pocket when it's when it starts breaking down. And PJ Walker's got some speed too. And Russell, he can kind of do the same thing. So I'm excited about QB2, QB3. I'm even more excited about QB1, but you guys get the idea here, right? I gotta I gotta have a contingency plan in case Jones does get hurt. Remember in year one, we had guys like Mike Glennon, Clayton Thorson. These were not guys that I was very comfortable with. Just can't scramble. They can't get out of the pocket. They don't have that element to their game. So I am very comfortable with these QB2 and QB3s that we have on this roster. But Trent Torres just trying to get his guys down the field here. It is 10 to seven. Torres throws off balance, but he just tries to get this thing out of bounds. Probably a smart play there. And Cincinnati will kick up their field goal up and good so it is 10 10 here's evan ingram no not evan ingram i was i was confused by the by the long flowing locks there of kelvin benjamin yeah this is a tight end that we signed real cheap real cheap backup tight end you guys remember that we cut kyle rudolph to save on some cap well kelvin benjamin we gave him a contract we gave him a contract because he's a cheap little tight end for us on a one-year deal i think it works for us Second down and six after a catch by Sarek Martin. Here comes Russell rolling out to the right again, and he is going to get tackled. He's only going to pick up about three. It's going to be third down and three, and Martin with a nice carry getting the first down. So, again, Sarek Martin. I'm interested to know how many first downs that he's picked up here today. Probably a lot. Probably a lot. If you're keeping tally, it's probably upwards of five, which is crazy. But Clark Russell does get a sack. Second and 21, and here is wide open spaces for Sarek Martin. Puts on a move and gets the extra yardage. He's going to pick up from 21. Second and 21, it's now third down and one. He's going to pick up 20 yards on the screen pass. A little flip here to Calvin Benjamin, who finds himself open for Clark Russell and the play action. Take a look at the linebacker there. Did you see that? He was sucked in on the play action and decided to take the running back instead of having the clear shot to Russell so instead we could pick up the first down here's Russell again trying to roll out to the right no confidence in that O-line right now and he's gonna pay for it here getting sacked second down and 17 again Russell just doesn't find anybody open so he decides to take off and run with it he will pick up the sack yardage plus more back by getting it to third down and seven so he get picks up a 10 yard gain here Russell fumbles the football but it is out of bounds and the Giants will be up to a fourth and four. So, field goal up and good. Graham Gano is going to kick it on up. And we're now up 13 to 10. Third quarter, one minute left. And here's Puka Williams. Yeah, remember Puka Williams? Kansas. Kansas Jayhawk. 
totally misses Henry Tatum, our defensive tackle that we drafted. Take a look at Puka Williams here again, man. He is showing off some agility, showing off some moves that I know that he's capable of. Here's Trent Torres, checks it down. Making the catch is Puka Williams. Second down and nine at the 36. Torres fires it to the left side. Pass completed. First down for Cincy. Torres looking not too bad here on this drive. Pass completed. That's a big hit. My goodness. He just got absolutely wrecked there. But one yard line, Puka Williams punches it in. And that's going to be a Cincinnati lead. 17 to 13 is your score here as we enter into the fourth quarter. Pass completed to Paul Andrews. He's had, he's had a he's had kind of a nice game. He's had kind of a little bit of an underrated game in my opinion. He hasn't been necessarily great. Had that drop touchdown but that he could have caught, but he has not been bad. The route running has actually been pretty decent, even though he's in the 50s and 60s with that attribute. Sack leading to third down and 11, and this pass is going to be <laughs> caught by Mitchell. And fourth down and four, we've been good on fourth down all game long. It's time to convert right here. Russell dropping back, finds a couple receivers open, but throws it short. And that's not going to get the job done. You have now a second down and 15, and Trent Torres fires this thing up to the end zone. It's going to be picked off in the end zone. Jabril Peppers with the interception with five minutes left in the game, guys. We have a shot here at getting some points up on the board. So turnover on downs for the Giants. Turnover through the air by Cincinnati. So we get the ball back here. We got another chance to make some noise here to take the lead back with a touchdown. 20-17 to 17 would be the score. Russell fires it to the left. To the right, I should say. Two. Sarek Martin. How many receptions does this guy have today? He's been going off. Facing some pressure. Pass completed to Kelvin Benjamin, who has actually been surprising in this game to me. He's finding himself wide open in some scenarios. Here's Russell. More pressure. Throws it out of bounds. Man, the pressure has been all over Russell here in this game. Russell fires this out to the right. Definitely should have hit that receiver. He was completely wide open. No one was even close. And it's going to be picked off. Just tried to force the throw to Mitchell. Tackle is made by Sterling Shepard. But man, oh man, that's a that's a costly interception right there. Two minutes left in the game. Williams takes it to the right. We end up calling a timeout here to try to preserve some clock. If we can hold Cincinnati to just a field goal, we have another chance at getting a touchdown and tying the game. But Williams will pick up the first down. You have to continue to call timeouts in this situation. They're going to try to run this thing with Williams, and he is going to get into the end zone. Touchdown Cincinnati. And that, my friends, is going to be the dagger and be the nail in the coffin. 24-13 is your final score. Trent Torres played the majority of the game, and he gets a win over Clark Russell and P.J. Walker and our Giants, unfortunately. So we lose in preseason action. But Russell, I, I can't say that he was necessarily, like, good 21 to 33 56.6 qbr with two interceptions no touchdowns with 63 percent he's a rookie right he's a rookie it is what it is puka williams with two touchdowns Sarek martin 13 carries plus if you take a look he had six receptions for over 100 yards so that's a really good number paul andrews actually led the way with seven catches for 68 so very encouraging signs for our youngsters I would say that I really wish that Russell played a little bit better, but you know, we knew what we were going to get with this guy anyway, right? Through the air. He's more of that, again, West Coasty type of quarterback, going to scramble a lot, going to throw short, going to check it down, not going to challenge deep too often. So maybe that was kind of, we need to tailor the game plan. We need to be calling plays that fit what he does best a little bit better. So we've got upgrades here for Andrew Thomas. We got upgrades here for Sarek Martin. I love his, I love his, elusiveness ratings i love his speed at right now i really think that if we really want to capitalize and make Sarek martin a player for us he's got to be able to be a more complete back so i tried to upgrade that wrecking ball attribute there and try to get some break tackle get some stiff arm going on and we did a little bit so i think that that's pretty solid 10 carries for 28 yards for Sarek martin here in this next game against the cleveland browns which we lost Three receptions for Martin with 34 yards. Kadarius Tony had a touchdown. Defensively, did we get a turnover? 
Did we get even one turnover? We got some tackles for losses. I don't see any Henry Tatum sightings or Dennis Winston sightings. We didn't even get a single turnover. No interceptions. We didn't get a turnover here on defense against Denver. We turned the ball over twice. Russell actually played a little bit better. He had two touchdowns throwing, which is nice to see. We had two touchdowns there. No picks for Clark Russell. Two interceptions for P.J. Walker. So it's tough. Like, who wins that battle? Is it Walker? Is it Russell? I think I'm just going to lean more towards P.J. Walker at this point. He's just more established. He can do it. He can do a little bit more offensively than Clark Russell can. Russell's a rookie. He's just a little bit lower rated, in my opinion, too. So we got to consider that. Definitely consider that as far as our depth chart goes. But defensively, you know, do we get do we get a Dennis Winston sighting? We don't. We don't get our we don't get our middle linebacker that we drafted. Our rookie, no sighting there. Romeo Reyes didn't see too much of him either. And that's gonna do it for preseason, guys. That's it. We had no wins in preseason. We went 0-3. Here's a Bucci Chidozi sighting for Denver. Had one tackle. And there's your statistics. Daniel Jones got the entire preseason off. Now, a lot of you guys might be thinking, like, Goldie, that was a stupid move because you want this guy to get some XP, right? You want him to get some XP. Get him out there. Play him. I just don't – I just know how Madden is with injuries. I just don't want it. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I just don't want to see that. Sarek Martin was actually our rece our leading receiver in preseason. So that's that's pretty – That's that can be turning into something a little bit, I think. Adding a little bit more – our offense now defensively this is a concern we had no sacks only two interceptions and it was in gameplay is when we had those interceptions so yeah i'm a little concerned about the defense here no sacks in three games in preseason that is very concerning for us if we want to win this game in week one against tennessee we got to be able to get this team in third down and long situations even second down and long situations you got to be able to tackle derrick henry for a loss very hard to do or whenever they do pass we got to sack ryan Tannehill. you got to force this team into long distance situations because then they take the effectively take derrick henry out of the game plan you, they're not they're not calling derrick henry on second down and 21 okay they're not calling derrick henry's name all right so i don't know i it's kind of concerning for me that we don't have sacks <laughs> we don't have a single sack in preseason uh, anyway, guys, that is the video. That is the preseason action. Gave you a little stats update. Again, the reasoning here is I don't want Danny Jones to get hurt. I feel like this is a very important season for us. Is it realistic that he didn't play? No. You're going to get your quarterback in in preseason action. But for the purpose of this, I want Danny Jones to be in this series. And I want, I want to be able to use him in gameplay. So that's it, guys. Leave a like if you like this thing. I will see you next time for the next Giants upload. We'll be taking on those Tennessee Titans and Washington on the road. So we got two games that we're going to show, week one and week two. And then we'll move on to the next episode being week three and week four. Keep in mind, I am accepting open submission players for next season's draft. If you want to take a look at that, Google form it is in the pinned comment and the description below. If you'd like to become a patron so that you're guaranteed a certain rating and guaranteed a certain dev trait, then also consider becoming a patron so that you're guaranteed to be in the draft class. Open submission is all random, so there's not any guarantee that you're, that you're going to get in, but you have a higher chance. You have a guaranteed chance if you do become a patron. So guys, that's it. Leave a like if you like this thing. I'll see you in the next one. As always, thank you for watching and peace.